<laughs> Ten years in the making. About that, yeah. what, 2010 or 2009 it came out? Nine, okay. <sighs> bro, that ending, garbage, bro. Before we even get into that, when did season eight start going downhill? What episode do you feel? One. <laughs> nah, come on, man. I loved one. The whole intro when they all came in, yeah. Arya's all. Uh, yeah. Anticipating the arrival of her brother, who she hasn't seen for almost ten years. But I felt like one and two were just leading up to the third one, and that was pretty much it. The longest night was the dopest episode by far. One of the dopest of episodes in the entire uh, series of the show. Yeah. I think it started to uh, go downhill when what episode? What when, when the bells? That was the name of the episode when she. And it's, she disc indiscriminately annihilated all those Lannister not Lannisters, but the King's Landing folk. That's that was when I last, think the last episode. Then. Yeah, five. yeah, five then. Yeah. But episode four was. Which was episode four? No, episode four, four was when uh, the second dragon got killed. Oh, okay. I scratched that. Yeah. <laughs> because it didn't make sense how some of that played out. Right. It didn't. I didn't. Well, you know what's funny with that. I didn't like the whole when she infiltrated uh, King's Landing. I'm talking about Daenerys with her two dragons. You got complete air superiority. You, you basically have two F-22 Raptors, right? And all of a sudden you have these fucking kayaks that got the fucking they got the drop on her. How is that even possible? Now I know you guys can debate. Oh, they came from the mountains and they were being shielded and they were you know just hiding nah man like no because if you even see the way they got caught Viserion he got hit in the side yeah. right so oh wait but was Daenerys on the she was on the right of that dragon I guess her right so yeah he was blocking her view he was flying on a certain distance. It still don't matter. He got hit in the yeah, side. They can you could see. They have peripheral vision though. If they were got hit from behind anyway, and you go from that where they almost got annihilated at that point, and then, and then in the the episode of the bells, <laughs> tired of this whole shit. The episode with the bells. What kind of training did she undergo? That all of a sudden now, Drogon is like a stealth bomber. And is getting a drop on all these ships. And I know you mentioned the fact that the sun kind of helped. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Cause okay. Because he, he definitely did something like that. Um, I'll give you that much. But she annihilated pretty much the whole fleet. Really? Really? With one dragon, though. Yeah, but I mean, that's a <laughs> dragon, though. That but you had dragon. two. Now you got one and you're doing all this devastation. Like what changed? I don't I don't understand. Mm. Oh gosh. Change, lazy writing. The books are over. Needs to cut the check. Or got the check. And was like, you know what? You want to do a Star Wars film? <laughs> yeah. Let's wrap That's, this up quick. That 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 was it. They want to do Star Wars. Yep. Oh God. What are the names of the Game of Thrones writers? Uh freaking frack. Yeah, freaking frack. So now they're gonna be uh, working with Star Wars and. 2022. Um, that that's when their movie drops. Yeah, and guys, please leave a comment. Is it a bad thing or a good thing that they're gonna be writing for the Star Wars film? Uh, I mean. Black. And they're that? and they're already getting tons of negative feedback just off this last and final <laughs> finale of Game of Thrones. So. Oh, guys, they're probably going to get hate mail, Most right? Most I, I mean, I don't wish them any harm, you know what I'm saying? Not. But that not that serious. But, I mean, the fact is, there's a lot, there are tons of people, a whole heap of individuals that are completely and utterly livid. <laughs> Good Lord. So their names are David 
Benioff and DB Weiss. DB Weiss. Or if you're from Europe, Vice. DB Vice. Vice. Like Vice City. Damn. Giving them mug shots. <laughs> So if you see them on the street, <laughs> throw a tomato at them. Nah, we kidding, yo. Nah. Throw yeah, tomatoes. Damn, tomatoes. That's the car, not them. The car. Because <laughs> they're going to be in the store. Oh, man. man. Yo, that ending is one of the worst TV episode endings I've ever seen in my life. Even worse than, um, what the hell's that show? What's that, what is that show when they're on a plane and shit? Lost. I never, I never watched Lost. Neither have I, because I heard they had a whack I, ending. I heard, That's yeah, why I was like, yeah. eh. <laughs> but I heard the show is, itself is a great show, but I never watched the ending. I mean, I never watched the show again. But, um, yeah, that, bro, I, I was so upset. I was, like, cursing the whole time. Yeah, I was upset. Tyrion should have caught it. Yeah, you, you were mentioning that hardcore, man, oh, throughout the entire... he did so much and got nothing. Like, she should have killed him on sight afterwards. Yeah, I guess. Mm -mm. But he wasn't the intended target from day one. He's one of those characters that you kind of had a feeling he was, you wanted him to last. I mean, I did, but then it's just like, if you do dumb stuff in Game of Thrones, you deserve to die, honestly. Yeah, that's pretty much the rule. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And he he was breaking that rule this whole season. The whole That whole ending at the end when they were sitting at the table, that was like yeah. cringeworthy. Cringeworthy, bro. I want to know... And I am really reaching here. Any of the Game of Thrones characters that are watching my video right now, <laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> Drop a comment too. I want to know what was going through your mind when you were at the King Arthur's round table and you guys, you know, you're acting out your script, you know, you're doing your thing, you're doing your due diligence, and you know, like, wait, this is, is this how it's going to end? Like, did you want to throw in your two cents in? Like, hey, listen, um, I think we should do this because da 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 da. Or was it? Is it more like how? How was it on the set? Do you guys have any say in the matter? Like, I know you guys ain't writers, but damn, yo, you guys are fans like us. You know, so I'm sure you guys watch it when you go home. Bro, most of the main characters are getting a million an episode for this season. But they love what they do. Yeah, million an episode, bro, and they did less. Someone someone made a meme that Cersei was getting a million to stand in front of a window. Well, that's because her salary. That's it. It's that like you can't just give her but less. She, yo, she she already put, made a um a name for herself. Right. The, she didn't do shit this whole season. Right, right, right. She didn't do a thing. She died whack as hell. Jamie died whack as hell. Oh God. John's fate. I yo, I can't even, I can't even understand what they were thinking about John's fate. Yeah. Going, I mean, a lot of people said he might go live with the wildlings, which is cool. But why'd you make him have to go back to the to the watch? Why why why, why didn't he just like say, hey, I'm gonna go do this and live with them. I'm done. I'd rather him do say that than him have to lose all of his title mm. and all that stuff. Oh man. Yeah, yeah, good, yeah, upset, good point. Bro. They just they ran out of ideas. <sighs> I think they need a bigger think tank. What do you think? <laughs> think tank is over, my friend. <laughs> oh, God. I like the bridge, right? Damn. Damn. Oh, whoa. I know it's going to be a ton of videos of people who hated this episode. So, please add us to that list because... Oh, man, I'm so disappointed, bro. Oh, this is gonna go down in history, not as being the greatest show, but having the worst ending. I think I would have been okay with uh, episode three being the last episode mm. with the Ice King mm. being, uh, killed. Yeah, Ice King. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think that would have been great as the last episode. That would have been it. If I would have wrote that show, that would have been it for me. That was the whole purpose of that. They they could have just talked Cersei. Yeah, they would they would get the throne. You think that doesn't matter? I mean, or you like think that, it's obvious at that point now? You, you could have had another episode that said Cersei. Like Cersei could have, they could have switched it all up. Cersei came to help, and she got there last minute, and they had like a small battle or something, and that's it. But we didn't even get that. We didn't get nothing. I don't know what to say, bro. Because <laughs> Daenerys just got killed too fast. <laughs> 
like see that that should be the end of the show when when she dies and what's what's all this other shit for what were we oh it was just like, <laughs> what yeah like Tyrion was like brooding the whole oh, <laughs> he said brooding <laughs> looking like a, a mini general zod with his little cape why are they showing Brienne opening a book and showing about Jane? Care? Nobody cares about that now. Everybody yeah. that we did care is gone now. Yeah, like, cares about that. We done. Why? Why would she care to change his his history anyway? Because she had sex with him. That's the first time she had sex with somebody. Well, it's not the sex, man. I mean, like, I she, she got knighted. She got knighted, remember, by him. That's one. That was her dream. No, I understand that. So, but I mean, you would change history for a person because of that. Uh yeah you do yeah not she didn't change history yeah, she added on he yeah, died he actually went to commit treason he committed treason against the yeah but she she felt like she owed him uh it's like a, everybody a, some can do gratitude they want in this show at the end in this season I feel like everybody could do what they want and they, not so they had consequences they pretty much had that was the whole purpose of Game of Thrones they had plot armor I'm done <laughs> I don't know what to do with my life at the, at the yeah I don't either man. Uh, we just waiting for Godzilla and uh, what's the other shit? Godzilla and what's it? What just came out? Brightburn. It's gonna come out soon. Right, but something just came out this week. Oh, John Wick. John Wick. I saw it. And all right, I'm waiting till Godzilla come out to watch it, which is this week. Oh, frack! No, actually, it's the 23rd. Godzilla's the 23rd. That's another week. But. I'm watching matinee, yo. What are you doing I ain't Wednesday got... night? I'm watching matinee. I'm working Wednesday night, but I'm watching matinee. I ain't spending that bread again. <laughs> I'm gonna do my two for my two for six. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Nah, I don't even want to spend too much more time on this damn video, bro. Honestly, yeah, that's, all right, we can everybody, end it. Everybody feels the same way. Season eight sucks. This last episode sucks. Sucked, bro. Yeah, it did. Pause. Sucks. And that's how we gonna end it, man. Fox Sound seventy eight. Clips forever, yo. Holla at your boy. Yeah. Hit like, subscribe. Word. Deal. And help us out. Yeah, man. Help us out. Peace. Power off. <laughs>